Welcome to the Salesforce Commerce Cloud demo. Uh, today we're going to show you a demo using the Stripe on connector for Salesforce Commerce Cloud B2C and the Salesforce order management. Now, before going into the demo as to what we're doing, let's understand the why first. Now, an e-commerce connector can easily facilitate some of the complex features like powering the checkout flow, uh, supporting multiple payment methods, initiating subscriptions, or syncing with something like an order management or an ERP system. It does help increase the conversion at every step of the flow, uh, from optimized checkout flows to fraud prevention uh, to further payment optimization. And because you're using this connector, the nature of integration is highly reusable, primarily based on configuration and quite easy to implement for multiple storefront sites. So it's not like one Stripe account for multiple sites. You can have multiple Stripe accounts for multiple storefront sites so that you're able to tailor custom payment methods and custom experiences for each one of them. And lastly, because the Stripe One connector, the support and maintenance of the connector lies with us, ensuring there is no disruption from a user experience and a functionality point of view. Now, what's the demo? So in this demo, we're gonna see a customer doing a simple purchase using the B2C commerce storefront. They complete the checkout, uh, which is powered by Stripe, use the payment methods that they need. Uh, at this point, we're just authorizing their payment. Uh, the order gets into the Salesforce order management. As a merchant, we will review these order details, ensure everything looks fine, and then fulfill the order, hence capturing the funds. And we'll also showcase if the product turns out to be bad, how you can initiate a refund from the order management app. All right, so let's get into the demo. Now I'm already logged in uh, to my sandbox of my Commerce Cloud B2C. Uh, this is called the Demandware or the B2C Commerce for Salesforce. So I'll head on to the storefront and I'll do a quick purchase. I'm already logged in as a registered uh, customer in the storefront. So I'll go ahead and place an order for a simple product. All right. I'll head on to the checkout, ensure all the details look correct. The next step is just ensuring all my shipping and billing address is correct. I'll add some test information here. You have crown shipping method as a standard, no change there. We have some test mobile phone number. I'm gonna copy paste it. Ensure everything is fine. And here you see all these payment methods, credit card, Alipay, ACH debit, Google Pay. So all of this is being powered by Stripe elements within the Salesforce B2C commerce connector. It's called a link cartridge. Now there are some payment methods that you're not seeing here and that's because for different sites, we have turned on and turned off certain payment methods. So you do, you have that flexibility to showcase this experience for different use cases. Now for the sake of this demo, I'm going to use my existing credit card that's already on file, ending in 4242 and place the order. It gives me a right last confirmation to ensure all my details are right and I hit place order. Now what essentially happens is it generates an order number using the existing system uh, and then it, it's currently configured to do just an authorization of the amount, which is in this case $299.99 and there's sales tax and shipping fees all, also involved. So now I'll head on to the order management uh, Salesforce app, which I've already logged in and I'll just double check if my order made it through here. So let's double check here. I'll do a quick refresh. And double check what's my order number. It's 9501. And so if you see here on the top, the 9501 order just made it through. So when you click it, you can see all the order information here. What's the shipping cost? What is the SKU? What's the quantity? The shipping address, the payment summary. And if I hit the payment summary here, um, you'll see that it's right now shows authorized amount. Nothing has been captured, nothing has been refunded. 
And all this information regarding the payments, the payment method, uh, the gateway ID, all of it is being powered by Stripe in real time. Uh, in the background, there are a series of webhooks that are being fired, they're listening for events, and then these fields are getting updated. So if I click this further, you can see all the details that we have added, all of them is coming from Stripe and it has the gateway information as well. Now, let's go back and fulfill this order. So I go back into my order summary. As a merchant, everything looks great. On the left, I have fulfillment orders. I'll go and open my record here, ensure everything looks fine. And now I will go ahead and fulfill this order. So I'll change the status to allocated to fulfilled and hit save. Now, once this happens, a workflow basically triggers another action to letting Stripe know that everything looks great from our side, it's time to capture the funds. And probably take about a second or two here. And if you go back to the order summary once again to see how the view changes, you'll now see that the captured and the uh, captured has this amount called three twenty-five dollars and forty-eight cents. Again, you won't have anything in refunded because you have not initiated any refund. So if I click the payment summary here again on the right hand side, you'll see a payment of three twenty-five dollars and forty-eight cents has been captured through an automated process. Now, this was a simple workflow of end-to-end -end how you're authorizing an amount from a commerce storefront and capturing this from an order management. Now, once the order is received, the customer is not happy with it and calls in and says, hey, the product is bad. I want to do a return and I need a refund. So now, as a merchant, you'll still be in your order summary view. But in for a refund, if you go under actions and recommendations, you click add and then you see return item. Now, when you click the return item, it shows the product that was currently present in the current order summary. Hit next. We'll select a reason saying it was damaged. Uh, we want to remove the shipping amount. Uh, just to show you can add a shipping amount or remove shipping amount. And by doing so, we, we initiate a refund for the customer including the tax and the shipping amount. So $325.48, which was initially authorized and captured, will go back to the same uh, credit card or the payment method that the customer had on file. So now you'll review all the details as an agent from the merchant side and hit submit. Now again, on hitting the submit, there are workflows already in the auto management app that will trigger uh, events telling Stripe that we have initiated a refund, the customer needs the money back. And if you click the payment method here again, you'll see a payment refund of $325 was made and status is processed. So if you click it further, you'll basically see you have the refund details, uh, you have the same payment method information that's coming from Stripe and you have the transaction ID and the gateway details. So net net, what we have learned from this demo is these connectors are easy to configure and install. Now there is an implementation guide on how to install the order management on the B2C commerce connector. They are there both in our public docs as well as on the Salesforce app exchange. These integrations are highly reusable. There is no custom coding or workaround required. Currently the link cartridge, which is a commerce cloud connector uses Stripe elements. We are working on adding the functionality for UPE, which is a universal payment element, so that customers are able to uh, manage their payment methods right from the Stripe dashboard instead of Salesforce uh, admin console. It works seamlessly with auto management from the Salesforce application. And if you want to integrate with other auto management applications with a little bit of custom development, you can integrate it as well. It does support multiple payment methods, which you can turn on and turn off. And it has support for multiple sites and multiple realms. So you can easily tailor what the experience of payment methods and checkout looks like for each and every storefront within the same realm. It supports both capture only and auth and capture mode. And finally, it does support the Stripe webhooks natively and based on certain statuses, it's able to kick off flows like 
checkout or authorization or a refund. So this was a demo using Salesforce B2C Commerce Cloud Connector and the Salesforce Auto Management Stripe Connector. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me. Bye.